What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Today we're back with another e-bike review. This is the High Boy EX6. This is a wonderful little bike. I've ridden it about three miles before I even started filming this video. I already know that I like it, but we're gonna find out how much I like it by the end of the video. We're gonna put it through its paces today. It's a very, very reasonably priced bike and quite capable. Why don't we take a quick walk around and I'll run through some specifications real quick. This is a 48 volt, 15 amp hour removable and waterproof battery has a range of 41 miles on pure electric and 75 miles on pedal assist rider height is 5 5 to 6 foot 5 recommended this is a 300 pound capacity bike and that does include the stuff that you put on your cargo shelf right there as well you'll notice that it's got front shock absorbers it does have a front-mounted headlight, a front-mounted reflector, and on the back, of course, you have a brake light and tail light as well. The seat is very comfortable and fully adjustable. The tires are 20 inch by four inch fat tires. It's a class three bike and it's supposedly top speed. We'll try that out. That varies bike to bike and person to person, but approximately 25 miles an hour. If you're wondering about the motor, well, there it is. It's a 500 watt brushless high speed geared motor. You do have a guard for your derailleur right there, and it's a seven speed. Up front here is where all the business happens. You have this very intuitive but very minimalistic display. Black and white, only a few buttons. Over here, turns your headlights and your taillights on. And I'm about to show you one of my favorite features so far. And you're gonna laugh at me. You're gonna laugh, but that's okay. Look at that bright headlight. I want you to listen to this. All right, this horn button, listen. Wow, that sounds like a cop car. Listen to that. <laughs> Obviously you have a power button. It's very simple. Power off, push it in and power on. You have your pedal assist levels, which are right here. Two, three, four, and five. That's as far as it goes. And then four, three, two, one. Your gear changer is right here. Very simple. Thumb, look how easy that is. And then your brakes. These are not hydraulic brakes. These are standard brakes, but they are disc brakes. And uh, I don't know, I like the bike. It is a step through. It's not one of those that has the big bar going across it. So it's very easy to get on and off the bike. And even though it doesn't have a rear suspension, it's actually a very smooth ride. So why don't I stop talking about it? Oh, don't forget the key. You gotta have the key, okay? Key in, key on. There you go. Now it's ready to rock. All right, are we ready to go for a ride? It's been a while since I've done an e-bike review, guys, and, and I love these things. Every time I get a new one, I'm excited to try it out. And I like trying all the different features, like, for example, this one, we're gonna try just using the throttle alone, and then I'll come back and we'll actually try pedaling and see how it does. I'll tell you something, I've had, I've had a bunch of these bikes. Some of them have 750 watt motors, which is bigger than this one, and some of them had 1,000 watt motors, and uh, some of them have peak power of like 1,200 watts. There. Oh, uh, uh, careful, I'm wearing shorts today. I can't afford to fall off one of these. I'm here to tell you, this bike is, it, when I hit the throttle, surprisingly quick. Oh, wow, whoa, no, no. I'm not quite sure how they did that with a 500 watt motor. I'm not a, I'm not a small guy. I'm working on it though, I'm on a diet. Okay. I am, I'm actually on a diet. I'm trying to lose a little bit of weight here. But I am six foot, okay, 5'11 and a half. I weigh 222 pounds as of today. And this thing just, <laughs> not a problem. And I know you're probably thinking, it looks like a really small bike. And compared to some of the big bikes, like the 26 and 27, 28 inch bikes that I have, yeah, it's relatively small, but there really is something to a smaller bike. It feels like the brakes are amazing. Front suspension works great. These smaller bikes, they feel more controllable to me. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the big bikes too. It's just these small bikes, your feet are so close to the ground all the time that it feels like even if you're about to Bop, botch it, <laughs> bop, <laughs> even if you're about to botch it around a corner or something, you you got the ability to catch yourself. All right, I figure I'll turn you around. Nobody wants to look at my ugly mug all day, so let's get this thing out. We're 
doing a little bit of off-roading here, right? Let's let's come over here and really, oh, oh, that hurt my butt. <laughs> this is really bumpy now. I gotta be very careful out here. We've got rattlesnakes and they, oh, oh man. Can you guys even see anything? <laughs> We do have uh, we do have rattlesnakes out here, um, particularly pygmy rattlesnakes. See what I mean? I about lost it there, and I caught myself with my feet. This is really rough terrain, guys. Like I don't I don't think I've taken any other bike through this particular piece of land. This is this is rough. Let's take it through the grass and get out of this. There we go. Ooh, what was that? Something something was behind me. I'll give her credit, man. It's a tough bike, really. <laughs> that was rough. That was really rough terrain out there. And it handled it like an absolute boss. And keep in mind, this bike's not made for, for that. This, <laughs> this isn't something you're supposed to take mudding and take on tracks and stuff. This is really kind of a commuter style bike. And I'll also tell you something, you better hold on to these handlebars because when that torque kicks in, it really kicks in, guys. This thing, this thing is great. It handles absolutely wonderfully. And even though, again, there's no rear suspension, it's really not bad at all. The front shock absorbers do a great job of absorbing a lot of the bumps that you're gonna be hitting. This is very loose gravel, as you can see. Not a problem, I'm doing 11 miles an hour going through loose gravel and it handles it just fine. Why don't we take her out on the street where we can really open it up. And then instead of using the uh, fully electric parts of this, we'll, uh, we'll jump into doing some pedaling. And we'll see how it feels pedaling it. Let's come around this corner real quick. It, it handles great. And the brakes, excellent. All right, again with the off-road, just for fun, right? I actually had a pygmy rattlesnake uh, right in front of my house, so I know they're out and it was a baby ch Ow! What the f was that? Man, I'm, I'm sorry guys. I'll try to I'll try to cut some of the You know profanity out, but I just got seriously bit by something or stung either way That hurts that burns. It's like fire man Wow Um we're gonna continue on though. I ain't gonna sit here and cry about this all day. But that uh that was painful. I don't even know what the hell it was, but he left a hole in my hand. You ain't gonna be able to see it, but right there, that sucker put a hole, a big one, in my hand. Man, I love living in the country. I really do, but it definitely comes with with some risks, you know what I mean? Uh dogs running around, deer running out in front of you, snakes will jump out of the side of the road at you, and you get stung and bitten by God knows what. Let's let's max this thing out. Let's see. It says 25 is supposed to be the max speed. We're at 23, 24, 25, 25.5 miles an hour is where it tops out with me on it using only the throttle. Now I'm going to let off the throttle. We're coming down a hill real quick. So I'm going to let off the throttle and I'm going to start pedaling. Oh, hell. You might as well not even bother pedaling, guys. Don't even bother. <laughs> if you're going 24 miles an hour, when you start pedaling, it feels like you're just pedaling the air. It doesn't even feel like you're pedaling at all. Like nothing. Wow. Let me slow it down. And let me find out when it feels like you're actually pedaling again. 15 miles an hour. Okay, so anything over 15, you're basically just pedaling for fun. You can pedal. I'm pedaling right now and we're doing 20. But all I'm doing is pedaling thin air. There's no resistance at all. None. Doing 17 miles an hour up a very steep hill. Now I'm going to go back to using the throttle. There we go. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. We're at top speed, and it feels good. And man, the air out here smells absolutely wonderful. This thing rides like a dream. 
even at 25 miles an hour not bad at all all right we're off into the the dirt again that sucker bit me real good man i think it was a bite i don't know what it was um now i'm paranoid either way though this thing handles 25 miles an hour really really well and the brakes that's another big thing is when you're going that fast how do the brakes feel when you really lay into them? man the brakes are great and they're not hydraulic they're normal brakes and they're absolutely great let's get this thing off of the uh rough terrain here let's get onto the road there we go not a problem we're coming up on a pretty big bump here i like to always hit it oh yeah 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 very nice all right let's go through here let's lean on it see how it feels leaning into it feels nice real nice man this thing rips it's almost hard to believe that this is a 500 watt motor this this has the torque of a lot of the 750s this is a very torquey motor this sucker gets it man oh this is beautiful absolutely beautiful if you've been waiting to get an e-bike because well they're expensive i mean let's just be real e-bikes are not cheap these are relatively expensive toys i'm here to tell you right now this is a great option for those of you that have been on the fence about one I'm already in love with this thing. I mean, the price point, you're not gonna beat it. Oh yeah, you're not gonna beat this, guys. This bike right now, I just got off of their website, and this bike was like a thousand bucks, maybe $1,050, $1,090, something like that. And for an electric bike that's as torquey as this is, with lights and a horn and good brakes, and this, this is a great price for this bike. I would buy one of these. <laughs> I would buy one of these all day long. Absolutely. And you have the added advantage because you can watch my video and go, okay, this is a good bike. You don't have to buy it and worry about whether this is going to be a good bike or not. I'm telling you, it is. I put my reputation on it. And I won't do that for just anybody, but if you got a good product and you send it to me and you want me to check it out, I'll definitely promote a good product. I ain't gonna promote a bad product though. I don't want people seeing my name on something and going, that was complete crap. You can't trust that guy, you know what I mean? Yeah, this this is nice. There's, there's only one thing that's a little different about it. We'll go over that as soon as we get back to the, uh, to the property. I've now ridden this thing five miles, guys. Five miles. And I'm loving it. It's a little warm today, man. It's 104. And with the heat index, it was 109. It's a, it's a hot one. Thankfully, it's cooled off considerably now that it's about 7 o'clock. I can actually get out and ride this thing and enjoy this nice, cool breeze without the sun. Well, never mind. There it is again. Super smooth. Very smooth. Comfortable handles great and look behind me oh yeah yeah this thing is nice guys <laughs> all right let's turn this corner lean back you guys, I'm telling you, if you, again, if you've been on the fence about one, I think this is the one right here. So overall, I think it's a great bike. Aesthetically, maybe not the most pleasing, like this big battery right here. It would be nice if it was a little more integrated or hidden, but again, this is not a high dollar bike. This is a great economical bike that most people looking for one are going to be able to afford. And I think one of the things I really like about it too is you could pull the battery out. Of course, you got to have the key in it, but if you needed to replace the battery, which is highly unlikely, these things are usually good for five to 800 uh, charge cycles. Battery is going to be good for a long time, but if you needed to, you could remove it and swap it out. Also, if you wanted additional range, it wouldn't hurt to buy another battery, slap it on the back, strap it down, then you got two batteries. Imagine being able to go between 80 and 150 miles on an e-bike that's 
that's crazy. But anyway, the battery is just kind of, it's kind of out there. But other than that, I think the bike looks really, really good. The handlebars are very, very adjustable. You can really adjust these things. But while we're on the subject of the handlebars, that's one of those things that some people's just not gonna like the look of these, right? But I'll tell you something, it reminds me of a bikes, a bicycle that my mother had way, way back in, God, this would have been the 80s. This would have been like 84, maybe 85. It's one of those old school, like an old school Schwinn. And I loved my mom's bike, I did. I rode that thing absolutely everywhere. And this is, this is what it reminds me of. Instead of the traditional handlebars that go straight across, right? Like a T-bar, these, that's kinda, it's almost like a, an M, isn't it? And it takes a little getting used to when you're used to handlebars that go straight across. And that may be something that is a turn off for you. So just be aware of that. The handlebars are angled pretty heavily towards the rider. And I find that it's not uncomfortable at all. It feels very natural once you ride it for a little while. The only other thing that I notice is when you turn the headlights on, there's no, there's no indicator to let you know that your headlights are on, none. However, there is a tactile feedback. If you push the switch, you can feel when it's pushed in and you know the headlights are on, and you can feel when it's pushed out and you know the headlights are off. Again, with that horn, that sucker's loud. As you can see, we still have a full battery. <laughs> I think that's pretty interesting too. Completely full battery. We have five bars out of five, and we have ridden seven miles on this charge with absolutely no loss in battery life. So overall, I'm pleased with the bike. I think it is one of the best e-bikes that you can buy on a budget. This thing, even though it has a 500 watt hub motor, it feels more like a 750 to me. The amount of torque coming out of this motor is pretty crazy. But that might be because it's such a small bike and it weighs a lot less. It's much lighter than the big bike. So a 500 watt motor is going to be able to propel this thing forward a lot easier than if this was a much bigger and heavier bike. Like I said, overall, my experience with it has been great. I've really enjoyed it. And I think if you're on the fence looking for an e-bike, this one is probably the best bang for the buck that you're gonna get. And with that, I'm gonna get out of here. I wanna thank High Boy for sending me their EX6 step through fat tire bike. This thing is really awesome. It's a great bike, an absolutely great bike. And I really appreciate you sending it to me to try out. And I'm gonna put a link directly below this video for you. And if they offer any discount codes to my audience to maybe get a little more off the price, I don't know if they can or not. At the price it is, it's, it's kind of already as cheap as I could ever see it being. But if they offer a discount code or any special promotional links, I'm gonna put that down below to save you you even more money. Be sure to like this video if you enjoy the content, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and until next time, stay safe out there everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.